Oh, the battery's low. That would explain a lot. <sighs> we ready? Right. <coughs> Hello, greetings. Just wait for the camera to get me in focus. Why you not get me in focus? Can I like manipulate it a little? I cannot. So this is the first video um, returning back um, from the Christmas period. Um, the res is a lot more better because for Christmas I got a new camera and a laptop and um, this is going to be the first video that we do back. And this is Evelyn. Now um, this was uh, this was one of the um, the films talked about um, at Con uh, Comic Con 2014. Um, I think it was the I never can get this one right. I think it was the Miami one. Um, anyway, uh, Sharma uh, Sharma ha uh, ha I'm terrible at pronouncing names at the moment, so fuck it. Um, the, the lead actress from this film, um, who is a legend in her own right, you know, was, was trying to promote the film and she did, unfortunately, I don't think that she did a good enough job. She completely, completely, she completely unsold it, um, undersold it, uh, sold it to me. So, although the project itself sounded very interesting, I wasn't really getting my hopes up. And then the Red, um, red Band trailer came up. Um, Oh shit, please don't die. I think my battery's gonna die, so let's just get on with it. <clears throat> That's a creepy ringtone. You betrayed me. My men are already there. You will die in that room tonight, Ebony. Already those, those first couple of shots are fucking amazing. We're having company. I love the fact that she keeps that guy alive because another thing that kind of put me off about the project is just her by herself for the whole film. Mom, I cannot get out of here so you're gonna have to come to me. <laughs> By the way, the blues, you make a trailer with the blues in it, I, you've instantly got my attention. There's an element of situational comedy about these shots as well. I I I I I had to stop what I was doing to to do this video and now I'm gonna have to do it really quickly because my battery is about to die. But that is just that's just to me that's um Ricardo Rodriguez Rodriguez um uh, Quentin Tarantino fanboy dream of a trailer. You've got the blues playing on the backgrounds, you've got the, the um um the quick transition um, close-ups, you got, for some of the reason I've forgotten how to pronounce her name, but, you know, the lead actress who's always entertaining and always sexy to watch, and the fact that she's doing the whole film in her in pyjamas just makes it ever more enticing from a male perspective. I'm expect, 
I see that I think the, uh, the introducing to the mother and the daughter in the trailer was extremely important as well because there's a lot of girls out there who do love this genre, do love the, act uh, the action genre and you know the badass women um, but you know they kind of see all the guns, they kind of see this, this one girl against millions and millions of men which is badass in itself but you kind of need that little extra in incentive and I think you know, there's no greater incentive for women than motherhood. You could argue that in the, in the comments below. Go ahead. You probably will. I hope you do, actually. Um, because I know there's a lot of women out there who, who actually don't want a child. So I, I kind of would like to see what's the strongest point in the trailer for them. And I'm going to go because I'm sick of looking at the fucking red battery thing flash at me. So, like, comment and subscribe and check it out, guys. Um, episode 2 of my podcast is up. Um, so, you know, uh, the link will be in the description for that. Um, great success and hopefully next time I'll get the blur sorted out.